Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server inventory or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in Jibbles below and I'll capture that and give you a shout out when that comes around. Like this week is suggested by Comrade Gaming MC Missy No Hadiko Gaming Demon Eye Creeper Plays, O Delight Cake Plays MC, Captain Plays FTW and max the manger so shout out to you guys for suggesting deluxe tags as created by clip this is a fantastic little plugin it allows players to select their own custom second prefix if you want so they can you can set up some sort of system where they can purchase or earn other bragging right prefixes that you would like them to use or you can use this uh to just force second prefixes uh staff that kind of stuff you just don't give them the permissions to do that. It works great with Deluxe chat, chat. It also works great with Essentials Chat. But I'll show you how to get those set up for Deluxe Chat and Essentials Chat. If you haven't heard of Deluxe Chat or are wondering if you should get it, I'd highly recommend that you do get it. It is not a free plugin, but it is fantastic. Especially if you have a server network, I would highly recommend it because the cross-server chat setup is super easy. We use it on my McFriends server. We purchased it, and it's great. It's a fantastic uh, really simple but very extensive chat plugin. So if I type, you can see that I don't have any tags. We just are seeing the tag from our permissions plugin, which is there. And as you can see, this is kind of the fun stuff with uh, Deluxe Chat. So if we do slash tags, we're going to be able to pull up our list. Now, <clears throat> before you even get into this stuff, you're going to have to talk about a few permission nodes. Now, you need to give them at least deluxetags.gui to be able to open up that GUI. You need them to give you need to give them deluxetags.select and deluxetags.list if you want them to be able to see their tag. If you want to force them to use the GUI, then you just don't give them those those permissions and they always have to do tags. Otherwise, you can do tags list. Um, but I don't have that permission. So, we can do tags. And then depending on whatever tags, let's say you have like 10 tags set up. If they have, they'll need to hit deluxe tags dot tag and then identifier, which is that um, name at the top in orange. That's the unique name for each tag. And then they need that permission node deluxe tags dot tag dot example. And then they can see the tag. So it will list all the tags that they can and they can click on that. And now it says that it's been set. So we can do test. Now we can see that we have a second prefix in front of our regular prefix, which is really cool. I don't think it works with suffixes. Um, I think it's only the prefix at the, well it depends wherever you put it in your chat plugin is where it's going to show up but i don't think you can have it show up in either spot it'll be one or the other maybe you can do some fun creative thinking and get that done so um we could do that if you want to do tags list all then you'll see those if you're an admin you could do tags list player name and you could see all the tags for them you can mainly set their tags if you do tags set uh player and then the tag identifier so example would be the one that we have there you can do that or you can cl clear the commands by tags clear player now i don't I'm not going to really go, go through this, but uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. And then the, the permissions associated with that are deluxetags.list.all. That's to see all the tags. Deluxetags.list.player. That's to see another player's tags. Deluxetags.set is how you set uh, your tag or somebody else's tag. Deluxetags.clear is how you clear your tag or somebody else's tag. Now, these are pretty much all op-related or moderator-related commands and then you got deluxe tags dot create the set description reload force tag dot identifier or unique name and that's why you can force a user depending on what group they're in to use that tag rather than they, them selecting their own which is kind of cool so if you want to add a tag you're going to do tags create cause for create uh oops uh, 
tutorial and then we want to add the whatever it is so we're going to do seven and then nine which i think is red tutorial and then put that color code at the end there and there we go so oh, it's blue sorry so we've created it and now if we do tags we'll be able to see it because we're an op so we have all the permissions and you notice that there's no real description which is something you kind of want to set up so we want to do tags set description and then tutorial which is that unique name that we've added and then um, um, let's uh, make it the same color maybe or leave it white I don't know a tag set up for a tutorial and there we go we got this the description set up so we're gonna do tags now we can see that we have that that description right there and we can select it and then we can do a test and there's our tag so we do tags we can switch back if we want and there it is back so if you want to put it in there that uh, your users can remove their own tag you make a tag that's just remove and it doesn't have anything in it so they can always clear their own tags if they would like let's hop over to the config file and talk about how we set all this up with our chat plugin okay so here we are in our server running 1.8.8 updated on october 20th so it's only a few days old this works and i think that deluxe tags only works with 1.8.3 plus so keep that in mind when you're building this now we put our deluxe tag and deluxe uh, chat jars in here and we're going to talk about deluxe chat first so the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your deluxe chat and before we even add that stuff you need to enable the hook for deluxe tags otherwise it won't do anything so keep that in mind and we're going to hop back over to deluxe tags we're going to take a look at the config like i said it's got that awesome messages.yml so you can modify any of the custom messages to make it something that's very unique to your server so we're going to hop over here so he talks about how to use this in the the placeholders or variables that you want to use depending on the the chat plugin that you're using so here's the ones that you want to make that you want to use if you're using deluxe chat and you want to be sure to leave this on true if you're using deluxe chat which is on by, by default if you're not going to use deluxe chat you want to set that to false so that it will process things a little bit differently so that's on by default and then if you come in here you want to take these uh, variables over to your deluxe chat into your formatting now the identifier is the unique name so you probably you want to use tag so it's actually the formatted tag that you want to use and then you have a few other options that you can put in so we're going to jump back over to deluxe tags so we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom if you want to see the tutorial on deluxe tag uh, deluxe chat be sure to check out my tutorial on that but you want to just add that variable in here much like you added other variables into the deluxe chat that's our vault prefix so that's from our permissions plugin the prefix and then deluxe tag you know you could put a, a suffix in here instead you could put the the deluxe or the custom tags as a suffix if you'd like now if you're going to use essentials chat let's say you have to set this to false and then you have to come in here and actually change all these these are usually percent signs by default and you have to change them to be these uh, brackets like in um, like you do in essentials chat and then here is your tags down here and here's the order that they show up in I think the lower the order number the higher priority so if they have multiple tags like if you're trying to force them it'll take the higher priority you can do some other modifications in here if you'd like which is really cool uh, we've talked about deluxe chat let's talk about essentials chat real quick I'm gonna open up that that one there so we're gonna open up this config and then you want to scroll all the way down to your chat area which is somewhere in the 500 lines and then you want to put deluxe tag in front of display name now display name is going to be a user's prefix username and suffix from the permissions plugin so you can't specify the prefix and suffix in here it's all one variable but you could put deluxe tags underscore tag in front of that with those little squirrely brackets and then if you a lot of people ask about removing those like carrot things this is where you remove it in here 
you just put whatever it is that you want them to, to show up any kind of custom color coding you want it to show but I usually put the custom color coloring in the prefix or the tag so that um, it doesn't it kind of doesn't mess anything else up um, like username all that username color all that stuff so that is all Hopefully that was helpful for you. It's really quick, simple, and easy. Those two things to remember, like if you're using Essentials Chat, you need to disable or set Deluxe Chat to false in your config file, and you also need to add the squirrely bracket variables in your uh, your chat area of Essentials Chat. I think it'll work for any other chat plugin that you want to use, but I've only tested with Essentials Chat and Deluxe Chat. It works great. If you're using Deluxe Chat, be sure to enable the hooks in Deluxe Chat for Deluxe Tags. It gets a little repetitive, but it's awesome. They're, this is a really fun plugin. It's really easy to set up. It's Eula compliant. You can sell custom tags to your users for fun. It's bragging rights for them. So hopefully you guys have some fun with it and this was helpful for you. This is Cos from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.